Welcome back to Footballology. So today I want to bring one more player to you guys' attention. This guy's been kind of brought to my attention throughout the preseason and some of the things that he's done thus far. Now I'm hoping that he makes a 53-man roster because I feel like if he does, he could have a possible impact on his team winning some ball games throughout the season. And if it's not on the current roster that he's on now, I feel like that he can end up getting rostered somewhere else and still have an impact on the regular season. So I'm excited to see what Ron Nall could do. Now, I'm excited to see what he could do with the Bears because I feel like he might have a home there. I know they got Tariq Khan and even David Montgomery, the guy that I'm excited to watch as well. But even if he was to go make a roster somewhere else, I feel like he could have an impact. Like you think, you think like a team like the Houston Texans with them losing Lamar Miller to the ACL, that might be a home possibility for him. But overall, just him watching him play throughout this preseason with the Chicago Bears and some of the things that he's done thus far, he's shown that he has explosiveness. He's shown that he has adequate to decent speed but definitely shown he has that size and power and this is something that the nfl has kind of gotten away from remember brandon jacobs even toby gilhart came to mind when i seen him peyton hillis some of those bigger running backs that were actually pounding the ball on a consistent basis and getting those 20 to 25 carries a game not just overall touches but carries and so ryan Nall could possibly be that guy but when i watch him play I think he was, what the when I watch him play, he reminds me of what Brandon Jacobs was trying to be towards the end part of his career. Brandon Jacobs was known for the big power back that can, you know, truck somebody, run over him, and then run past him. But with Ryan Nall, he's shown that he has quick and nimble feet and in and out of the hole and when he's in open field. And so for a guy his size, you don't expect those things. And then something else I noticed with him, he has an ability... I think because he's so big, I think he has the ability to run away from people and people don't expect it from him. Like people see him and they just like, okay, he's a big dude. He's just not going that fast, but he actually pulls away from people. And I was surprised myself when I watched him play. So I think he has a lot of things in his arsenal that works for him. His size being one, he understands how to use his size, but at the same time, he understands how to use his quick and nimbleness and his agility to his favor as well. So on the goal line, like you see, he can actually power it in like he's supposed to. He a trucker guy that he knows is smaller than him and open feel he sees a backer comes and then he actually kind of adjusts himself to be more agile and quick so i don't know like I don't, i'm not sure if he's going to make the 53 man roster with the chicago bears i'm excited if he does but if he doesn't i can definitely see another team trying to pick him up and another team utilizing him throughout the season i really feel like he can find a home in the nfl and i really feel like there's a home for him in the nfl even if he's a change of pace back i feel like he still has a home somewhere in the nfl of being that big powerful bruising running back so that's all i have for this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're a Bears fan, definitely let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want the Bears to retain him? Can you see a spot for him on the current roster right now or make a room for him? I know special teams is definitely an option as well for what he could bring to the table with his size once again. But if your team needs a running back, do you want your team to go pick him up? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and what you think that he could bring to your roster. And if you're not a footballologist yet, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you become a footballologist. Stay safe, football fans.